Recently, we brought you coverage on the restoration of the Carrollton Covered Bridge in Barber County when it was closed back in July. Now, we have an update. Heather Hale went by to check out the progress for tonight's 12 News Road Patrol. Significant structural work on the trusses and bottom cord of the bridge still needs to be completed. At first, officials thought every piece of the bridge would need to be replaced. But it turns out that parts of the original structure will still remain. From the outside, it may appear that there is already a structure built that will support the roof. However, what you see is intended only for the tarp, which keeps wood, equipment, and the workers out of the weather. It was still so hard for us to put a time frame on when we'll have the roof on, just because, you know, as we've worked on replacing this upper cord, as we get to the lower cord, um, a lot of complicated things that we're going to get into as far as how to change those members out. So some of that, you know, might slow us down a little bit. Um, so the timing aspect is kind of hard to figure figure out. You know, it would be ideal, obviously, if we could get a roof on by the winter time, but we're just not 100% sure right now if that's going to happen. The structural work on the bridge must be completed before work on the roof can begin. The bridge must remain closed through the duration of the restoration project. The main reason is for safety. Replacing main structural members leaves the bridge not at its full strength of capacity. Bracing members also run across the bridge, which would not allow traffic to pass through. The other reason the bridge must remain closed is the materials and equipment that are stored on the bridge. Borum says that to have to mobilize those things daily would greatly slow down the progress of the project. You know, I want to say I appreciate their patience. You know, I know that they want to see this bridge, um, you know, brought back to life and, and rehab. So. You know, we're committed to getting that done and, you know, if they can be patient with us um, and allowing us to, to do that in the quickest possible manner, which is to have the bridge closed down. Um, you know, like I said, we would just appreciate their continued patience in that and their understanding. Borum says that although they have run into unexpected obstacles, great progress is still being made. The bridge project may be complete by this coming spring. Reporting in Volga, I'm Heather Hale for 12 News.